Um, these are two out of my five daughters, and together with my wife and partner, Ashley, are the thing that I'm most proud of in life. The fact that I've done as well as I have done is just because I had to catch up with them all the time. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have never been inv invited to the dinner table. So um, thank you for those wonderful words and for being the amazing people that you are. I left the formal corporate world about two years ago, and I've had the opportunity to reflect a bit about what marketing is, what marketing should be. And I'm gonna spend some time sharing that because I think it's needed. We continue to get a really bad rap every couple of years. Just two months ago, even the ANA was talking about the lack of relevance of marketing, the needs to focus, and frankly, I get very annoyed about that. I get pissed about that because I've devoted 40 years to something that I think it's more important than ever before. Success is the obligation of any business person and success within the context of marketing is about growth. The work that we do matters. Our economy is moved by companies big and small when we're doing our work, people live meaningful lives, people can fulfill their dreams, life is good, and by the way, we're able to return the money that people trusted us with so that they can live the life that they want to be. When we don't do our job, real people suffer lose their jobs, are not able to live meaningful lives. So we have an obligation to be successful. And that became very clear to me during the time that we were in the pandemic. How do we do that? By building brands that stand the test of time. That's what we do. Building brands today is significantly more important than ever before. We all come from the consumer good world. We all learn about delivering the PNG world of preferred brands. That's no longer enough. We have to do preferred and trusted brands. Preferred and trusted, which means not only to have a sustainable competitive advantage within your category, we have to do it within the context of culture. What are the values that society expects us to have? It's a much higher order. It is a new sense of mission for our discipline. What consumers want today are two things, embodied by the amazing group of leaders that I'm here sharing the stage with, sustainability and social justice. That's what our consumers are expecting, not from governments anymore only, but from corporations. And in fact, all the research done on trust will tell you that they are expecting us to play a more active role. So as business leaders, as marketers, we have the moment to actually begin to unleash the impact that we can have in the companies that we lead and in the societies in which we live. Each and every one of the people that were given awards today have done that. They were not only amazing in their craft, they transcended the craft to do some good. In order to capture the new possibilities, my call to the industry is that there is no more time for I. It is all about we, the issues that we're going to deal with in sustainability to live a better planet than what we have, and in social justice are going to require that we work closer together. 
we cannot afford to be improvising and to have learning curves in each and every one of the companies in which we participate. We have to work together, we have to share knowledge, we have to learn together, exchange best practices so that we can transform not only our companies, but the societies in which we participate. The second thing that became very clear to me in these moments of reflection is that we have been spending way, way, way too much time on STEM education in general, but within the function. Science and math and systems are really, really, really important. But the questions that we are going to have to ask are much deeper than about math and about computer science or about science and technology. They're about who we are, where do we want to go, what is the society that we want to build? What is reality in the world of the metaverse? How do we make the trade-offs between growth and environment? Who is there to define tr truth? What that means is that we're gonna to have to bring back a more holistic experience for the marketers of the day. We're talking about specialization together with humanism and with ethics, a balanced brain anchored in values and in soul. We need to do that. We need to create the space to have those conversations what is this society that we want to build? What is the world that we want to live for those behind us? In addition to that, in my new role and hoping to develop the next generation of leaders, I am finding out the same truth that I found out 20 years ago. We are not doing a great job in helping leaders move from subject matter expert into people leaders. We are not. We didn't when I was there and I learned through trial and error. We need to build a system that gives people capability, not just on functional capability, which we are all exuding on, or by the way, every time we have new technology now is metaverse and NFTs and God knows what, and training, 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 training on that. Are we not allowing people to grow as leaders of people? Which is what Mark and Boz and Anne are and have always been. We need to invest in leadership capability. We need to create a sense of community, not within our companies, but within the industry so that people that are beginning to assume rules, roles of responsibility can actually share all their experiences, importantly, their frustrations, so that they can share when they fall, so can they be lifted up, so that there is no sense of isolation. We also need mentors and we need sponsors, and I separate the two. Mentor is someone outside of the company that is going to guide you through the right questions and is going to share with you the emotional burden of leadership, the loneliness of leadership and how to deal with it. And sponsors are the people inside the company that are going to push your career, are going to advocate for you, and are going to give you the stretch assignments. And I'm going to spend a minute on stretch assignment because it actually makes my blood boil. Every person that I know, every person that has received an award here, every person that has received an award of those 24, no matter where they come from and who they are or their ethnic background or their sexual orientation, any successful person that I know has received stretch assignments, which is someone trusted your capability or your potential ahead of your capability, and they were there to support you. Yet nowadays, when we're talking about diverse people, it's, that's a diversity play. And people begin to roll their eyes. 
it's not a diversity play stretch assignment, it's a leadership capability moment, and we all need them. So if we want to create the next generation of leaders, and we want them to actually showcase the communities that we serve, we're going to have to do a much better job in building the leadership capabilities, in creating that sense of community, in providing them mentors, and also advocating from them, giving them the stretch assignments that they need in order to move forward. The only way that we're going to be able to deal with all this complexity is if we begin to think a lot, not just about our company purpose, but about our personal purpose. The only way that we're going to be dealing with the tension between the material self and the spiritual self or the person that we want to become versus the person that we are because of our day-to-day -day pressures is by anchoring our life in purpose. Is by living a life of purpose and finding purpose in our life. Our work is not our purpose. Our work is the canvas in which we allow our purpose to unfold. And by the way, one of the things that I've learned in this stage in life is that you are what's left after you eliminate the titles from the business card. So live by purpose, and by the way, don't think that legacy is something that is going to happen at a later stage in your life. <laughs> legacy is what's happening today. Legacy is nothing more than the impact you have in the things and people you touch. Wow. That's legacy, and everything counts. What you do, how you do it, what you decide to avoid, Everything counts, and by the way, you're gonna make lots of mistakes like I have. At the end of your life, what you expect is that at least the count is positive. <laughs> so grateful for the honor, especially for the honor of, of, of sharing the stage with these three amazing leaders. Uh, grateful for the amazing life that Ashley, my <laughs> wife, and my five daughters have been able to give me. And, uh, Please take advantage of the moment. We have one life. Let's just make it matter. Thank you very much. <laughs>